you know, this is Keaton Everett with ABC going over your pitching video from the camp. Uh, we're going to go through and talk a little bit about your mechanics, talk a little bit about, you know, how we generate power, how we generate velocity. We're going to talk about, you know, getting ourselves consistently repeating our mechanics. You know, we want to we want to get ourselves in a spot where where we can, you know, repeat our mechanics every time. Every time, you know, everything's going to happen at the same time. Um, we're going to get going at the same time, start everything, and then we're going to talk about, you know, once you lift that left leg up, you know, how are how are our hips taking us down the mound? You know, we want to make sure our lower half's doing all the work, and then we're going to look at once that left leg comes up, the very first frame that it that it hits the ground is going to be called that in foot strike. And we're going to look at, you know, where's where's your body? You know, how are your hips working in relation to your shoulders? You know, where are your hands at? You know, where the, what are the angles of your arms doing? Um, and then we'll look through, you know, how you release the ball, how you finish. And so, you know, at, at your age, the, the important thing is, is to grasp these concepts because a lot of this stuff, you know, pitching, you know, keep delivering the ball with power and pitching mechanics is such a physically demanding sort of movement. It's, it takes a lot of strength. It takes a lot of coordination, a lot of balance. So at your age, it's something that, that a lot of this stuff that we're going to talk about is going to be physically hard for you to do now. You know, there might be uh, a few neurological adaptations that will happen with you, um, but a lot of this is going to come as you get older and you get a little bit stronger. Um, so just something to think about, all right? So the more you can kind of focus on it now, the more you can kind of work on it now, the easier it is going to be when you get a little bit older, all right? So first off, off the bat, you know, we always look at your setup. All right. So the biggest thing with, with our setup is we want to make sure that we're limiting motions, we're limiting, we're limiting movements, and we're getting ourselves in a position to powerfully throw the ball. All right. So one of the things that that we like to do is just kind of move that foot a little bit closed, um, closed off that that back foot. We don't want to have it open. All that is is because we want to get our hips in a closed position. So that just makes them have to travel a little bit longer, all right? And make sure that, that we're loaded up with your head over this back foot, all right? We want about 80% of your weight back here um, and about 20% on that front side, so everything's ready to go, all right? We're going to mark your head and kind of watch what it does through your, through your delivery, all right? So you can kind of see it shift back already off the, right when you start your mechanics, all right? So once you start that delivery, we want your head to already be locked up back here. We don't want it to start moving back as you're lifting that leg. All right, so just lock that body back there. Stay over that back side, all right, and then come through. Okay, so as, as you're starting up here, we basically want in this position. So that's right where your leg gets up to its highest point. All right, we want to try to make sure that this front foot is somewhere over that back foot. All right, so it's... it's kind of a tough angle to tell, but it looks like you're, you're kind of closed off a little bit. Um, you know, it looks like your foot's still a little bit in front. We just want to get our hips in a nice closed position to get to make them start down the hill. Because our first movement, we want to have hips going, all right? So we want this knee to start coming down. We want that ball to start coming out of our glove, and we want those hips to start going forward, all right? Um, one thing that helps with timing, all right, you're going to see your hands, all right, you're going to drop your hands, and then the ball comes out, all right, so you're breaking your hands late, but part of that reason is your hands are coming, or you're coming set right up here, your, your arm's going to want to break, your hands going to want to break down there, so just drop them down here a little bit, all right, just keep them right above your, your belt, somewhere around your belly button, um, and that's just going to help you time this, because we want to see, so I'll, I'll draw a box around your hips here. So as you can see that this foot going down, you're seeing this, this other foot, you're seeing your foot get up in front of that hip, all right? So you're seeing this here, you're seeing a postural change backwards, all right? Your head's just kind of staying over the, over your your back foot here, all right? You can just kind of see how, how basically you go from standing straight up to now you're kind of forming a, a triangle. So now you're here. All right. We we don't want to see any bend in this this um, in your posture. We just want.
want to see everything standing straight up. All right, nothing's really moving in, in that upper body, and then you're driving those hips. So in this position, you know, when when your your foot start first comes outside your hips, we want your body to not be here. We want it to be somewhere down the hill. All right. And again, this is a big strength thing, but we want we want these hips to lead in front of that foot. We don't want that foot to, to be leading out there. All right. So you see your foot's already outside your hips. All right. And you're just kind of sitting over that back leg too long. All right, you're breaking your hands late. You know, we want your body in this position here, and now your your legs are still, you know, now that foot might be coming open because you can see that your hips are really far open right here. All right, if we draw a straight line from the catcher, you know, it's kind of dangle stuff to tell this part right here, but you're stepping wide open. All right, draw a line straight from this back foot. All right, kind of in the ball of your foot, straight to the catcher. All right, and then try to land on it or somewhat close. We don't want to land open. All right, there might even be a little daylight in here between your legs. So you're just popping those legs open. And all that is is because you're letting this foot lead everything instead of your hips. We want to drive those hips down the mound. All right, what that's going to do is that's going to take your foot strike, which looks like it's about right here. That's going to close you off more. So now your foot's probably going to land somewhere around here. What that's going to do is because your body's getting down the hill, your hips are getting down the hill, you're probably going to start landing somewhere about out here. All right, if you mark off shoe lengths, if you go one foot over the other, one, two, three, four, five, you know, it should be somewhere around five to six feet lengths. Mark that off and just try to work on using your hips, keeping your hips closed, driving your hips down the mound, and getting those legs out in front. That'll help you out a lot um, with some power as you get a little bit older. All right. So another thing, so once we get to foot strike, it looks like this is foot strike. So remember I mentioned that, that you're, you're, you were breaking your hands late? And all that's causing is this straight arm. We don't want to see any kind of locked arms at this position because your arm, you basically your arm is dragging because it's breaking late. At this position, we want to try to see your fingertips on top of that ball. Now you're going to be able to drive that, that ball downhill. You know, use that angle of the mound and drive it downhill instead of here, now you're transferring your energy to that front side, and now that ball's coming up and then over. So all that's doing is that's putting a big load on that elbow and that shoulder. You can see it's kind of a little bit below your shoulder there. And as you get older and stronger, that's going to start causing some injury problems. That's going to, you know, put a lot of strain on that arm. So the, so the biggest thing you got to do is is break your hands earlier and just work on that ball path. We want to try to get that ball up here. All right, so you can get on top of the ball and drive it downhill instead of stress that on, that elbow right there. All right, and so then through release, you can see because that because that arm's dragging. All right, it's it's like you're kind of pushing the ball uphill. So your your elbow path is kind of doing this instead of you know this. So we we don't want to see you try to change your arm angle. We just want to try to see that elbow a little bit closer to that shoulder height. And so then it kind of just comes through and down on that ball instead of kind of up and out, all right? Another thing we look at for foot strike is, is your glove. And you can see how this glove hand is kind of dropped down and lagging, all right? It's, it's a good angle right there. We just want to try to get that elbow up a little bit higher, all right, to kind of match up uh, your backside, all right? And then through, through release, you can kind of see you know, we want torque. Torque in hip separation is the ability for your hip to start turning before your shoulder. All right, and you can just see that everything happens right at the same time. So we want to try to get your hips in this position, and then your your body's back here and in this position we kind of we kind of drew last time. So the the hips go, and then the upper body. But that's a big um, that's a big strength thing. So the biggest thing for you, man, is just. Getting, you know, drawing that line down the mound, making sure you're landing on that mound. You just got to start using your legs, getting those hips going, breaking your hands, and you'll be good to go. So I hope you're having a great season. I hope you had a great time at camp. Thanks for making it out. We look forward to seeing you again with ABC.